Hi, welcome you guys. My name's Jolie and um, I don't have any book to read today. And um, I'm visiting my mom and um, also, uh, so um, let me just be frank about this. Um, interesting choice of words. Uh, <laughs> let me drink some coffee. Uh, when you have a family, as we all do, right, and you have memories, so what happens is um, when you're having conversations, sometimes you like go back into the history of how you feel, like, so we react um, maybe in ways where we're like, why did I say that, or why does... Why do they always make me feel this way? And this is perfect example of how to um, use our tools. Cat person, yes. I miss my cat. Um, how to use our tools uh, in the Al-Anon program, right? So um, I was up um, the last three nights giving um, Tylenol to um, my youngest, who has been staying here with my mom for the last few years. And um, so I just wanted to share that. That's why I'm a little disheveled and um, out of my element, but I'm usually like this anyhow, because it's just how I'm rolling lately, just going with the flow. So um, what I'll do is I'll just share that a little bit and you can see my mom. I, I moved some things around for her. Um, she likes this, the coffee, books, and rain. And uh, had this cool frame. So um, she upcycling some things. And it's nice to be home. And um, with that uh, romantic idea of being home, where you grew up, there's also those things that happened when you were younger and how to resolve those without um, remaining immature. So what did I write? I wrote, um, time to grow up a bit. So it's time to grow up a bit and I um, wanted to share that with you. Um, so if I, ch these are my little note cards. If I try each day to put my point of view and my attitudes on a sound spiritual basis, like praying in the morning, taking walks, cooking with your family, appreciating the time you're together. I know it will change all the circumstances of my life for the better. I also will see the results of that. Try of change my point of view uh, in the way other people respond to me and in the way my daily needs are met. Right? So concern, love, kindness on my part. Because that's all I can do is me. Will be reflected in everything that takes place in my life. I'm not going to waste my time. Though I do still do it. Wishing the other person would do it too. If only they would do it, then my life would be great. How's that going for you? Can't, um, that's living in the mind for me, in my experience. And I don't want to do that. I want to live as sane as possible. And sanity means for me, Realizing how other people are, accepting that, possibly limiting, limiting my time, or finding ways to love in a detached way, not like 
you know, when we're empathetic so much that we can, you know, give them excuses for why they do what they do. And so then it's okay for them to do that to us. But eventually that really hurts our, uh, our stability. Uh, we can um, deeply resent without really, really knowing why. And then we'll have to do things to squash those feelings, which is maybe, mm -hmm you know, having some addictive behaviors ourselves, like shopping too much or drinking or using or um, avoiding getting into bad relationships in order to get out of this one, thinking that it's a good relationship. This is better than that. And it's not because we're still here. So um, this is another one I love. A tolerant, uncritical awareness of others will gradually change my personality for the better. That's from page 246 in uh, One Day at a Time in Ellen. And um, that's from, so those, I'm just sharing my, these are the cards that I took with me. And um, I will be reading some, uh, some astrology for, for some clients here. And I'm looking forward to that while I'm here. And um, so here's another one. So the whole purpose of Alanon or this 12 step program, it's, you know, cause being affected by alcoholism and addiction is generational, right? We become children of parents who are children of parents who are children of parents of distorted thinking, right? Um, and that ensues it's it's like that um, ocd thinking that um never good enough thinking um those things that are unresolved traumas thinking and blaming the others so then we continually do that and that's you know so yeah in short alanon gives us that um frame the books, the way. So that's where this platform started for me because, you know, I've, I've read so many of the self-help books and I'm like, okay, I get it. So it was like, it, it stayed in my mind, but the action is, um, at least for me, set in um, doing 12 steps and having meetings and readings that are specific so that I can keep it simple. For me, I need to keep it simple because I'm all over the place. As an artist, as a labor rising, there's so many options, <laughs> so many ways to go, so many religions to have, so many things to get involved in, so many people to help. Yet, you know, leaving myself out, thinking, you know, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm taking care of myself. You know, but where I don't even know what kind of ice cream I really like, you know, if you can relate to that. Now I'm working on that. I do know what kind of ice cream I like, and it changes, and that's okay. Pistachio. I like green. I like mint chocolate chip. Today I'm having cream in my coffee, and maybe next week I'll start with no cream in my coffee. You know, that's how I am. Okay, so let's see what else I have, and then I'll let you guys go. So um, I just wanted to pop in here and say hello in real time. So I make room for what I treasure. So by working on that and putting up nice, lovey boundaries, like this is not okay for me, and you don't even have to say it. You can just limit your time or just let people just roll twirl people just want to go if you notice a lot of times people don't listen to what you have to say never did can't change them you can't like you're not listening to me i've tried that for years and it's it always ends up back to me where um they're like you're mean or, i you're hurting my feelings 
you just don't know what I'm trying to say. So I'm like, what's been working for me is just to let, let it go, let them do their thing or not accentuate the troubles until they overwhelm me. So this is one of my favorites in that. With me. I pray to be led into a new way of thinking about the difficulties I have to face. A new point of view will put them into perspective and reduce them to manageable size. Manageable size, right? And I pray especially to resist exaggerating my troubles until they overwhelm me. So let me learn to understand myself first so that will occupy me so fully that I'll have no time or thought to analyze and criticize the compulsive person. And I pray that each day my, may advance my steps on the road to understanding that I may leave nothing undone that could have changed my, the course of my life for the better. So, okay, those are it. And let's say this serenity prayer and we'll go. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Keep working. It works if you work it. And I love you.